Maybe you think we should do uh, XL Keystone, uh, maybe uh, loosen up the restrictions on new refineries or expanding refineries. There, there's a lot, but none of this is going to work today, tomorrow, next week, or, or in a month. These are all one-year, two-year, three-year, five-year plans. What would you do today to try to help consumers? Well, what I would do today is unleash American energy that take, that takes and time, technological right? innovation. Uh, there, there is technology. There's innovation. There's uh, we we should have never shut down the Keystone Pipeline. Yet that is what President Biden did on day one. I've introduced legislation with Bruce Westerman. He's the Republican ranking member on Resources Committee. It's the American Energy Independence from Russia Act. It is a comprehensive bill that would yes approve the Keystone Pipeline, other pipelines, export uh, natural gas. Uh, which is so important to our allies, address the permitting on federal lands. This administration just recently shut down the permits in, in Alaska and off the Gulf Coast, uh, the Gulf of Mexico. I mean, those are signals that continue to make it more difficult. I was, I was talking with a, a refinery uh, just uh, recently that was sharing with me how difficult it is uh, you know, getting the, the permits from FERC. Yeah. This administration on day one made clear that they were going to shut down American energy for their own political agenda. And it is harming Americans. It's making us less secure. It's increasing the prices. It's, it's, it's making it harder for hardworking American families. And we need to flip the switch. Well, there's no new leases on federal lands. Only, really only 20 percent of, of the offshore uh, drilling is, is being done. None of these... We hear conflicting things. We're hearing that there's more rigs now than, than when Trump left office during COVID. So we hear all the, all these, uh, these, these different sort of takes on on what's really happening. It's hard for the average person to really know uh, what's going on uh, at this point. Well, in many of these examples, the administration is trying to distract from their true agenda. But I would just. Uh, the results, uh, the facts on the ground speak for themselves. And the administration on day one shut down the Keystone Pipeline. President Biden had made it clear that he wanted, he wanted to wean us off of oil and natural gas. And yet natural gas has been the, re the, the shell revolution, the technology around natural gas was the reason that we had been leading in bringing down carbon emissions. The UK right now is, uh, is and the EU is looking at, uh, at uh, making natural gas renewable because they recognize that that is the key to bringing down carbon emissions. It's the reason that America has led in bringing down carbon emissions more than any other country in the world. We need to get this debate back on results and on facts rather than b distractions and, and confusing uh, rhetoric that, as you just said, confuse uh, Americans. Congresswoman, I, I get the, the feeling that we're going to hear a lot of this, um, both sides kind of using it as political talking points. I agree that, the, that with a lot of your points that we could be doing more to try and help this and maybe working productively uh, with, with the energy companies. But is anybody actually sitting down and doing that instead of playing politics with this? Is anybody actually sitting down with API, which has just sent out a letter saying, here's the 10 steps we would recommend? Is anybody sitting down constructively... Yes with CEOs of some of these companies to say, how, how can we help? What can we do? Because, uh, you know, Americans are the ones who are paying higher prices in the meantime um, while this gets bantered back and forth. I've been to Midland. I've been to Texas. I've been to Houston. I've sat down with these, these uh, American energy companies. Uh, I think that we should be putting Midland over Moscow. Uh, and yet this administration seems I don't know where they've sat down with these companies. I certainly know that they are reaching out to dictators. They've reached out to, you know, Venezuela, OPEC, those those um, people to ask them to increase production. I would urge them to sit down with American energy producers. We, we've led. We're leading on the technology, the innovation to to ca uh, to capture carbon carbon sequestration. We're leading in the technologies that are going to uh, move to this clean energy future, uh, and, and we need to do it the American way. We need to embrace American energy and all that it means to us. It is, is so foundational to our lives, our standard of living, our economy, our national security, and, and, and we can lead the world. We, we must lead the world 
in both unleashing American energy and technological innovation.